It's good to be back in the house of the Lord this morning and hope that the uh, lesson will help. Uh, I hope that the words that I read from God's Word will be of a great importance and a help to you. And I hope that what, if I have to uh, if I use any of my thoughts, that they'll be uh, what the Lord would be pleased in. We want to go to the book of Luke this morning in chapter 18. We want to study a parable this morning. In fact, we want to try to touch on a couple of parables. <clears throat> chapter 18, verse 1. <clears throat> chapter 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men always ought always to pray and not to faint. Amen saying there was in the city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded him, and there was a widow in that city, and, the, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of my adversaries. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she wearies me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said, and shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear along with them. Amen. This is a, uh, a parable, and a parable is something that uh, uh, was spoken, not pinpointing uh, no certain person, not telling about one certain time, are not given any evidence of if it happened or uh, how it happened or anything. It's a parable. And we see here that, and I know many of you have studied these, and uh, hopefully I can uh, add a little something and uh, make you get to thinking a little bit more about this, but uh, he spake the parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Good advice to Christians. Amen. Amen. Good advice to Christians because the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Right. right. And we that uh, we that have sick ones, we that have loved ones, we that have uh, those that are that are lost, we need to continually pray about this situation. Right. And here uh, we see this this person, uh, this lady, this this uh, widow. And the Bible speaks of two different type of widows. One widow that has children or grandchildren or someone that can support them. And then there is the widow indeed. Right. And, uh, and in need. And this one here, uh, from the way I can understand it, was in need because she had an adversary. Mm -hmm. And we this morning are in the same condition. You're right. We're in need also because we have an adversary. Amen. And if we Amen. don't, uh, if we don't cry out to our Father uh, and and ask His blessings and ask His help, uh, it, adversary can make it awful hard on us sometimes. And so this would have come to this judge, and this judge was uh, a type of that uh, he he was his own man. He uh, he didn't fear God. He didn't respect man. He was a he was a judge, and what he said, of course, it, the law was in force, and so what he said, the law said, if you if you do wrong, you die. And uh, he was over these these people, but the 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 widow in verse three, and there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him saying, "Avenge me of my adversaries." Now, like I say, she was having a hard time. And uh, 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 she needed some help. And again, this this uh, ought to encourage us this morning to be a uh, help. And it don't have to be a widow. It don't have to be uh, one that's in the hospital. But we know that we have people and see people that need help all the time. And right. it might be, if nothing else, to tell them about the Lord and praise His name and before them. And so, but anyway, this... Uh, this judge was a very stern man, and uh, and uh, and he would. It says here, and he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, "Though I fear not God, nor regard man, 
Now that's a condition to be in, man. Mm -hmm. When you don't respect your fellow man, you don't respect God, you're just there, just like a rock. Uh, no feelings whatsoever. He didn't have any feelings. Amen. And this, this judge, this judge was a hard rock. But listen, this little widow, this little widow started tapping. And she started, she started, and she, she just, she just come back. She just come back. She just come back. And this is why the Jesus is telling us this parable. Listen, we can't just run up to Jesus and say, uh, Lord bless me, and, and three months later say, well, he didn't do nothing. Uh, this is a thing that we have to do continually, day after day after day, as we desire for the Lord to, to help us. Amen. And we see here, we see here the uh, evidence of the things that happened and the thing that she got done by her continual coming. Now, we as God's people should honor our Father and our, and our Savior Jesus Christ by requesting uh, thanks from them. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what God expects from us is to, add, uh, uh, to uh, identify Him as God and that He is the only one that can do these things. Amen. Yep. And so that's why this morning that I believe that Jesus is is, is telling these uh, uh, people the, uh, the the parable here and speaking to them because, uh, and I'm sure that he even had the Pharisees and all there and his, and his disciples, but he wanted them to understand the importance of who we serve and how we're to approach this thing. And so he said, uh, in verse 4, and he would not for a while. He wouldn't, he wouldn't even consider it. But, you know, I'm sure that uh, if we have an adversary or if we have someone that can help us and we ask them to help us and they, they get in this condition like he was, I'm sure that the Lord looks down and sees us in the condition we're in and he starts stirring. And listen, he can stir a heart he can stir a heart that will hit you, and uh, and, and and you know it's just amazing. It's just amazing how that how that the Lord can help. Now, I want to I want to oh, yeah. stop here a minute and tell you something. Uh, the other night we had a storm, mm -hmm. and a huge tree, one of our shade trees, about ten foot up, the top blew plum out of it, mm -hmm. and it was all over the yard. And uh, I wasn't, I, I, you know, I wasn't able to uh, cut all the limbs up, all this. But anyway, two people stopped, a woman and a man, and said, "We not, they knocked on the door, got us out of bed. We didn't even know it happened." And uh, said, "We want to see if he's all right." And uh, we said, "Yeah, we're all right." But we was looking at this and the mouth wide open and the old tree there, you know. And he said, "Well, we thought we might come by and help you with this tree." And uh, I said, well, I, 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 I'm glad for you to do that. But I said, it's too wet now, so we'll wait until it dries up. And he said, uh, by the way, what are you going to do with the wood? Well, the wood was a type of wood that I wouldn't guarantee, I wouldn't recommend to nobody for, for firewood, but that's what he wanted to do. And so he said, we'll take it. And so we'll haul it off. And so it wasn't too long after that, I looked out there, and the workers from the county uh, were out there in the state and they were they had their saws and they started cutting that tree up and they cut it and I mean in stick link and I thought to myself well they'll probably haul that off and I said them poor people that come by here they'll but they didn't say anything about it so when the people that wanted the wood come by had their saw in hand they was ready to cut that tree out and hey man you got it made I said it's already they backed the thing up and started loading it up you know and, uh, and here, here I am sitting there, hey, man. Just, just watching. That's all I'm doing is watching. And uh, I, I was just thinking as I was saying this, here, here's this old widow. She's just watching. She just said, hey, avenge me. Well, anyway, I, I, wanted to, I want to give God a praise for this. Amen. Yeah. Because, yeah. because that thing happened and, and they come there, the ones that wanted the wood, that picked up the wood and what little limbs was there he had to saw. He cut up the limbs. And uh, all we had to do was just drag off some small limbs and pile them over, and we was good. Amen. And so, 
uh, we were blessed beyond measure, and uh, so I thank the Lord for it. But anyway, back to our lesson now. Uh, here in verse in, in, in verse five, after the, the, the Lord said this, this man wouldn't even have got he wouldn't regard man. In verse five, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she worries me. Now he could have. He could have all the he had all the power to take her and have her put in jail, or even probably uh, done away with. But thing of it was, he looked at her as a widow, and he could not uh, he could not stoop that low, and he could not have her. And he says she's worrying me, mm. and she just keeps coming back and worrying. And I, I encourage everybody. And I, I heard a preacher one day. And he preached, and he, I mean, he was one of them that jumped around everywhere. And you think Larry moves? He was he was a lot more than him. But anyway, he was preaching, and he preached for an hour and a half. And he, when he got through, he said, "Now, if any of y'all uh, would, I, I I would ask you to worry God about me. Amen. Tell him, tell him that I can preach, but tell him that I need to preach some more." And I never will forget that. He said, you, you tell God on me. Uh, and, 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 and so this is the same thing here. Uh, this thing right here with, 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 the, with, the, with the widow, uh, she continually come to him and, 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 and told him she needed help. She needed help. So here, the Lord in verse 6, And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge says. And shall not God avenge his own elect, Amen. With, with which cry day and night unto him, though he bear along with them. So here he's saying we need to continually come to him and 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 and, and tell him our problems. Amen. And he also says, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna jump every time you say frog. Wow. He says here, though he bear along with them. And so listen, we don't we don't get upset when we're asking God to do something for us or to turn somebody's heart or to heal a sick person. Listen, He does it in His own time. Amen. He does it when He wants to. Right. And all we have to do is ask and ask and ask. And don't get, don't get impatient with God. Amen. Because, listen, He's able to do what He wants to. And if it's His will, He will do it. And if it's not, You'll understand it better by and by. Amen. And so, right. here it is. I tell you, in verse 8, I tell you that He will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall He find faith on the earth. Right. And so, this is this is the one parable that I wanted you to, to, to share to share with you. And then I want to look. I want you to look over in Luke's eleven with me just a minute and. and, and and we want to read down to verse 5, and then that's where the parable starts. But in verse 11, in chapter 1, And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, mm -hmm. as John also taught his disciples. And he said unto them, When you pray, say our Father, which art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. And give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us, and lead us not into temptation. They ask him for, for, for three or four things. You notice here he says, he says, uh, give us day by day our daily bread. That's one of the things that He's promised to say. Amen. And forgive us our sins, He's promised to say. For we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us, which we should. And lead us not into temptation. That's something that we need desperately. Amen. And, but deliver us from evil. So these are the, some of the things that, that, they, that the Lord in, in, uh, uh, told them to pray for. But now, in verse 5, And He said unto them, which of you shall have a friend and shall go unto him at midnight and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine is in his journey and is come to me and I have nothing to set before him. 
Now, you can imagine this man here, uh, uh, and, 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 and as, we, as we see him going at midnight to a friend that he has and asking for three loaves of bread because he hadn't got any defeated friend. Listen, that's the same as the parable we talked about where I go, we can go to the Lord at any time Amen. that we need to go and ask for any need that we need. And listen, uh, a lot of times when we go praying, we're asking for help for our friends. And so he said here, he said, uh, 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 here, which of you shall have a friend and shall go unto him at midnight and say unto him, friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine is in his journey, he has come to me and I have nothing to set before him. And uh, again, we need, to, we need to be concerned about our friends and our enemies, Amen. as far as that goes, that we might have something to set before them and not in the way of bread or uh, baloney, but listen, that we might have the Word of God that we can give them and encourage them or tell them so that when we stand before God, we'll not be guilty of not providing them with God's Word. Amen. And here he says here, uh, and he from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not. The door is now shut. My children are with me in bed. I cannot arise and give thee. Now this is, this is a, a man's way of looking at it. But listen. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him because he is his friend, yet... Because of his importunity, he will rise and give him as many as he needs. And so again we see this thing that Jesus is, is, in, is really stressing to these people is continue to pray for what you need. Mm -hmm. Continue to pray for what you want to see happen and continue regardless of what kind of results that you get. Listen, continue praying because he hears every prayer that you answer Amen. if you're his child listen listen your your child when he when he starts crying of a night or your grandchild or your great grandchild starts crying of a night listen you can wake up and listen and hear that and you you will you will pay attention to that right child. and he's the same way with us when we cry out to him he hears that prayer and he's always there ready and so he uh, he says here uh in verse uh and uh, uh nine and I say unto you, ask and it shall be given you, seek and ye shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. So here, here is the promise, here is the promise that God has given to us that he says, if you seek, you're going to find it. If you knock, it's going to be open unto you. And, 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 and if you, if you, you'll, you'll, you'll uh, uh, find that that you're looking for. For every one that asketh receiveth. Amen. And he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. And so when when we see this thing here and we, we remember these these words here, and it says, Every one that asketh receiveth. Well he does, but he's not talking about uh, immediately. Uh, sometimes it will be, sometimes it won't. Right. And he's not asking for your wants. But he's asking for your needs. Amen. And listen, we all are in need of something. Right. We are all in need of something, and we've got a prayer that we can pray and ask the Lord to take care of that thing. So here again, in verse eleven, if a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, would he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, would he? For a fish give him a serpent, or if he shall ask an egg, shall he offer him a scorpion? Scorpion. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask Him? Amen. And so listen, even He covers asking for the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> and that's something this morning that we all need a greater portion of. Amen. And, and, and because he is the he is the comforter. He is the one that will that will that will comfort your soul when, when all hell is breaking loose. Right. Listen, yeah. you're a child of God's 
And he said, Jesus said, when I leave, I'll send the Comforter back. But he's here today. Amen. He's here. I believe it with all my soul. The Comforter is here. The Holy Spirit is here. And Amen. because He said, I'll not leave you comfortless. That's and right. so He's here. Yep. And uh, all we have to do is accept the fact that He is here and speak to the Lord about the situation. Amen. And I, I believe with... I, and that's, that's where it's at. Believing. Believe Amen. in the Lord. That's right. Believe in the Lord. And Amen. so... Uh, I hope that what we have, uh, have read here and that what we have seen or, or, or said will be a, a, a help to you in days to come because yeah. we need to be encouraged mm -hmm. about praying. Right. We need to be encouraged to the point that we can worry God if you would. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to continually, and that's what He asked. That's what He asked for us to come daily to Him and pray and, and seek His leadership and to tell Him what we need because we ain't telling him nothing he don't know. Amen. Amen. But the thing of it is, he wants to know that we know that he knows. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Right. So Amen. That's it. that's it. And so this morning, uh, I hope that I hope it's something's been a, a blessing to you. A word, a line uh, in the scripture uh, could set a set a far like a, a, a fuse to a cow. Amen. Absolutely. And so I thank y'all for listening to what I had to say this Amen. morning. Pray for us. Amen. Yeah.